Welcome to part three of the Adipose and Luos Destructs Temple tutorial. It's time to start making this into more of a level um, than just a bit of scenery. So here we are, right at the start of the level. Um, I've got um, a thin scoreboard, which I'm going to attach to some dissolve, which I'm going to attach to some dark matter. And what we're going to do is, later in the level, Sackwise is going to press a switch, which we're going to hook up to the dissolve, which means that the scoreboard will fall from the sky and uh, he will be able to exit the level. So in this way, we're actually using the scenery of our temple twice. We're going to make Sackboy walk through it to get to the switch and then back to get to the exit. We've added in um, a grabbable chain that will take Sackboy down. Check out the boat tutorial if you aren't sure how to do that. We're um, cutting a sack boy shape into the um, into the background there. Now here we're making a permanent switch. Um, you probably have seen these around already, but just in case you haven't, this is the simplest form. You get a magnetic key switch and you stick it to some dissolve, which is stuck to some dark matter. Um, you put the switch on the dark matter and you put the key itself onto the dissolve. You set the magnetic key to inverse, and when that dissolve disappears, the key will activate. Um, so we're going to go into those settings and we're going to change um, that to inverted. So that green light will disappear, and then when the dissolve goes, um, the switch will activate as well. This permanent switch is going to do quite a few jobs. It's going to lower the scoreboard, it's going to activate a speech bubble, and lower a grabbable. So there was the switch. When we pressed that red switch that we put in there earlier, um, that dissolve disappeared. We're also going to um, add in some camera effects here. We've got two switches, and each of those switches is connected to a different camera. And so when we uh, raise the stairs, the camera which is on will change too, and it will pull back and it will show us more of the temple level. There you see, so as we pulled that switch, the stairs went up and the camera pulled back. And when I pull the switch back the other way, the stairs will come down and the camera will zoom forward as well. That's using a switcher from the Logic Pack, which you can find on Little Big Planet Central, or by searching at Logic Pack um, on Little Big Planet. It's also important uh, to adjust your lighting and to adjust your colour correction. Um, and remember, when you adjust the colour correction or any of these options, you can do um, big changes with the D-pad or tiny changes by just pushing the right stick over a little bit. We're going to add in some sound effects. Um, we've got a mechanism engaged sound here, which we're going to connect up to the switch. Now, although that switch is directional, it will actually activate the sound effect. It doesn't have to be an on-off, and it doesn't have to be um, a one-shot for a sound effect. A directional switch will actually still do it. And in fact, most um, little features in the Planet will direct will accept a directional input, um, with perhaps the obvious exception of lights. Now have a look at this. As we activate our red switch, that permanent switch goes off, and one of those grabbables raises, and the other one will descend. There's the um, switch being activated again, and you can see that the uh, scoreboard falls. So by pressing one switch, we have um, three effects. We're adding some music to the level. Uh, we've gone for the, hist the, the one from the history pack, because it gives us a nice kind of like temple feeling. And we're adding in one of uh, Lewis's um, bad guy creatures from his Sack Legendary um, series. We're going to add a magic mouth to this character. We're going to make the mouth invisible, so you can't see it. Uh, we're going to make uh, him uh, speak with a kind of like a... I think it was Evil Pixie we used. And we're going to instruct um, the user that they need to find the switch. Um, it was red at the time, but it ended up being blue. Um, they need to find the switch to allow them to escape from the level. We're also going to put in a second mouth, and when we press that red button, um, this mouth will activate and show the user that, in fact, the scoreboard has fallen down. So there's a cutscene camera option in the magic mouths, and that permanent, swi that permanent switch we made earlier is going to activate this magic mouth as well as the scoreboard, as well as those grabbable chains. So there's going to be an awful lot going on um, from just one switch. Don't forget your stickers. Remember from the cave tutorial, find something that works. And uh, the best thing we think here is just to put a few cracks around the place to make it look old. So we can see that the, the crack makes the temple look like it's falling apart a little bit. Here's a little tip from me. 
Um, if you want to uh, use Dissolve or the scoreboard, if you uh, use the sticker tool to sticker your uh, um, materials that you're using a lot, you can then put that sticker decoration um, as a decoration onto uh, your other materials. So I'm actually going to stick the texture of the wall onto um, the scoreboard to make it uh, look more fitting. Now we've put the settings uh, that we want into this global lighting tool and we're putting it just below where the player will enter the level. And I'm then going to set the darkness of the level to maximum. So when the player first appears and the level is completely dark, they land on the global lighting tool, which is then going to put the lighting on. So you get the effect that um, as the player comes in, the lights will slowly turn on. Now we've put loads of magic mouths around this level which will tell you exactly what we've done and we've made the whole level copyable. So if you just search for at Luos Destruct or at the Adipose um, on the planet, you can copy this level to your moon, um, look at all the different things we've done, read those magic mouths and you'll find out lots of bits of information um, about this level and different techniques. We've also thrown in a few little three freebies at the end. You get a picture of us, I know, very exciting. Uh, you've got some extra pillars there and you've got some um, alternative designs that we made before we uh, we decided on that one. You've got um, a tree version, um, a stone version and a different colour scheme. Um, so please do uh, do copy this level to your moon, and uh, we're not doing this for the hearts. But if you want to sling a heart um, our way as well, we'd uh, we'd appreciate it. Um, so that's at the adipose or at luos um, underscore destruct. So let's have a look at the level. Set the lighting down to dark, and in we go. We've added in a few score bubbles, hopefully you know how to do that. The first grabbable here is the one that will raise, and the one in the ceiling um, will lower when we find the switch. Okay, so pulling the switch, the stairs went up, we had a sound effect and the camera changed to show the user where they're trying to go. We've put in an optional extra here, uh, which is we put a winch um, on that switch, so after um, the user um, activates the switch upstairs, the winch pulls that switch back so the stairs come back down and in fact the switch can't be pulled again. Uh, do download the level um, to see how we did that if you're interested in that technique. Thanks again for uh, joining us on one of our tutorials. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it and we're always interested in feedback and requests for the future. Um, to finish today we're going to give you a preview of our uh, next level. Um, it's had a name change. It's now called In Pursuit of the Meddling Magpie because uh, we felt it suited the level better. And uh, we'd appreciate your support when that level eventually does come out, which should be in the next week, we think. Um, if you're interested in being a beta tester for it, um, let us know. It's a mixture of uh, puzzles and platforming action. And we think that it's unique in that it has uh, multiple paths and the user can decide whether they would rather take uh, the platforming route um, or whether they would rather tackle one of the puzzles. Um, we made a, a wonderful little water puzzle that we're really pleased with and uh, one of our friends online said it was the best water puzzle that he had seen yet, uh, which we, uh, we felt we took as a great compliment. And uh, we really think that you're going to enjoy um, this level, um, both the scenery that we've put in it um, and all the different logic effects. Uh, when the level comes out, we will be releasing a companion video um, explaining how we made it and uh, hopefully that will give you some good ideas as well. Uh, this was a black and white section uh, with magic lanterns um, which allows you to see uh, the eggs uh, that you're collecting and this is one of the more scary parts of the level where you tackle the tree. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.